Hey, beloved, my name is Krista Pettiford. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I wanna share a word with women, especially women over 40, but if you're a woman of any age who has struggled with your identity or being authentic, then this word is for you. Sometimes we as women try to be who we are not to please other people and even to please God. We're not comfortable in our own identity and our own uh, skin, so to speak. And so we look at other people and we compare with other people and we say, if I could be like that person or maybe if I acted more like that, especially in a day of social media, we try and we take part, bits and pieces of all different people, not just the way they look and how they act, but their calling and their purpose and their giftings and, and try and put together piecemeal a person. But God wants us to walk in our authentic identity and he's made us uniquely. He has created us fearfully and wonderfully. And I'm reading today, or I'm taking the study from my book, A Call to God's Daughters to Step Into His Lab, Love, Acceptance and Beauty, based on the book of Ruth. And I was thinking today um, about how we are accepted in the beloved without pretense and how God spoke to me early on in ministry. And he told me that I did not have to come into his presence with pretense. Now, let me tell you what I mean. When I first came into ministry, the Lord began to use me in different ways. And I didn't even know that I was called. I was a young mom going through a divorce who had four children who had started as a teenager. So I had two children as a teenager. And then I had my other two children and got married in that order to my ex-husband and um, got married to the one I had with the the last two children with and then um we ended up getting divorced after I got radically born again. And so I threw myself into the things of God and into church and all these things. And so when God began to use me in ministry, I already felt um like I wasn't good enough. I had issues of low self-esteem and I felt like, you know, all these other women were wonderful. And here I was a mom with four children and now going through another, uh, going through a divorce after already having been a teenage mom and all of these things. So these weren't things that were at the forefront, but looking back, I knew that they had shaped the way that I felt about myself and me feeling like, do I even have a right to be in ministry because there's other women who have better and what I thought was perfect lives that could be in ministry instead of me. Um, and, and so I began to try and be like those women is what I'm trying to say. I began to try and dress like them. I began to try and back in my day when I was in, when I was coming up in ministry, we wore suits, skirts and stockings and all of that. And I began to try and look that part, um, look the part of someone in ministry. And I remember the Lord speaking to me one morning and saying, saying to me in my quiet time, you don't have to pretend to be someone you are not. Do not come into my presence. With I desire an authentic relationship with you. I knew who you were when I called you. Those were his words to me. And what it did is it gave me the freedom to grow into the woman he called me to be and to stop trying to be like other people um, to fit in. That God did not want that type of worship from me. It reminds me of the scripture about true worship and those that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth and what I was putting on was pretense which is not truth trying to come to God and as these women in my mind I was trying to present myself as one of these women to God and so not only was I portraying this image out here all of a sudden but with God I was trying to be something that I was not that he hadn't created me to be. And when I got to take all of that off and I realized that God loved me anyway and that he saw me, it just gave me, as I said, the freedom to, to grow and the grace to grow. And he also told me to be who he's called me to be because other women need me to be myself. They need to see other women being who God has called them to be and being in their, walking in their authentic and unique identity. 
identity so that they can have the freedom to know that it's not cookie cutter. Um, the word says to imitate those who have inherited the promises of God and imitate people's faith. But he doesn't mean imitate their personalities, to act like them, to dress like them, to try and be like them. And so to try and pray like them or preach like them or whatever your gift is or whatever God has called you to do, try and raise your family like them. No, we are imitating the principles of God, the godly attitudes. And so there is a place to, to follow after people who have received the promises, who are walking worthy in the calling of God and are walking in the fullness of their calling. There's something about that that we can glean and that we can learn from other women who have been where we have been and to follow the same principles. That's what we write about. That's what we talk about. That's what I create this channel about. That's what it's all about is not having to make the same mistakes. But as far as your authentic identity, um, it took me hearing from God and I still struggled to try and fit in a box um, that I thought people expected of me. I was in this box of expectation, what I thought God wanted, what people wanted. And when I finally came out of that, I was almost 40. And um, it was so freeing to just be who God has called me to be. And to even in my ministry, to be transparent, truth tra and transparency, I have learned transforms lives. And I used to hate that, you know, um, God would get me in a place to preach or to teach and I would be sharing one of my stories very transparently and I would hear him saying share this story and it's like other women are not sharing their stories like that God and I'm you've called me to share my story and to be transparent and not the ugly you know truth and glorifying the enemy in my past but just sharing and he would use me being transparent to set people free for people to call me to email to text me to come up to me and and be freed when I share about different things. And so, um, I, yeah, I learned to walk in that. And so if you're struggling, know that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. If you're struggling to think that you're good enough, that I want you to take some time to find out what God says about you and then believe what he says about you and begin to see yourself as he sees you. Um, Psalm 139, one through three says, oh Lord, you have searched me and known me. You, you know, when I sit down and when I rise up, you discern my thoughts from afar. You search out my path and my lying down. You are acquainted with all my ways. God sees you and he knows you. And furthermore, he says that you are fearfully and wonderfully made later in that in that um, psalm. But he knows you and he knows you, the 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 your imperfections and he says you are beautifully and wonderfully made and there is a scripture i think it's in song of solomon it says you are you are all together beautiful there is no flaw in you and so i just want to encourage you today that if you are trying to be something that you are not if you're not comfortable in your own skin and in your own identity and i don't mean you know your makeup your hair i'll put on a good cute wig in a minute or the clothes you wear i mean who god has called you to be if you don't feel comfortable being yourself then just try taking off pretense try getting to know yourself try showing up um, as who you really are in the world and not as um, just a representation of other people because it doesn't work. And, you know, I look at different Christian women and I'm like, you know, I am, you know, different. A lot of the women that I am in the same circles with, so to speak, are women who haven't been teen mothers, women who are married, women who um, have different lives than mine. And I felt less than for some time because of the things that I have been through or the things that I'm going through right now. And God said, shake that off. There's a voice. There's a uniqueness and authenticness that someone needs to be that person because there's more people out there going through things. There's more people out there that have been through different things. And if every voice is showing up and saying everything is perfect since I've come into Christ, I've had no problems and I have a perfect family. I have this and the other. Then who is going to help? Who's going to speak to those women who are finding themselves in Christ and going through hard 
thing and going through hard seasons and saying God is still good and I will bless the Lord at all times and even in my worst day he is still a good good God and he's a good father and he makes all things work together uh, for the good of those that love the Lord who's going to testify of God's goodness if it's not us who's going to say that even on the in the bad seasons God is good if you don't share your testimony to let other women know especially in this generation that if everything does not work out the way that you expect it to that God is still good that he is still God that he is still a worthy savior and that he still has a good plan for you even if the plan that you thought he had or that you had doesn't work out and so use your unique voice use your, your unique identity to affect people especially when you come into a certain age other women younger women need us need to see us being ourselves and loving God and God loving us as who we are and being that unique thumbprint um, and that fingerprint and that and that identity in Christ. Uh, it's a it's a, a coat of many colors. And so I just want to encourage you in that today that God has called you uniquely. You have an authentic identity in Christ that you don't have to be like other women to be accepted in the beloved. You are already accepted in him and God will fill your life and your circle with people who need you and who you need, who you are fit together within the body of Christ so that you can be a unique expression of his love and his identity in the earth realm. God bless you.